Let's make this pumpkin topiary something more my style. Keep watching. So here's the old topiary. It did have some leaves on it too, very colorful leaves on it, and I took those off. This is a Dollar Tree bucket with a little piece of foam. And now you just see me dismantling the topiary. I'm gonna pull all the little wires and pieces of glue and stuff like that off so I've got a cleaner surface. And then I'm gonna choose some paints and I chose Autumn Brown and I think it's called Pumpkin. I'm just gonna mix those two together to get a, a more neutral shade of orange, I guess, if you can call it that. It won't be as bright as that big pumpkin. It'll be a little more muted or toned down. I have a big stack of these little bowls that I got from Goodwill and they're really good for mixing paint and that sort of thing. Just use my popsicle stick to mix that all up well. And then these are little Dollar Tree paint brushes. They look kind of cheapy, but actually they work very well. They load the paint very well. Okay, so what I'm doing is going over this pumpkin and I'm going to be doing the rest of them as well with a moderate, I guess, coating of paint. And then I will give them a second coat after they dry. It makes it a little bit easier if you put a pick in the bottom so you can turn it and you don't have to touch it and then stick it back in the styrofoam to let it dry. So now I'm going to work on the sign, the pick that's going to hold it all together. And I just got some old, old stickers from scrapbooking days. I'm surprised they still stick. And then I've got my, these came from originally the Target uh, Bullseye Playground. I'm just going to take these pumpkins and decide which way, whoops, that one came apart, decide which way they would look best on here. A little hot glue will fix him right up. I'm having some yard work done, so hopefully you're not too distracted by the background noises. You never know when they're coming. Alrighty, so these are very strongly sticky on the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of hot glue to make sure they don't come off. And then I've just made a little jute bow and I'm gonna put that in the corner of the frame. And set it aside. So here are my pumpkins. This is what I mean by putting them on a pick and then putting them in the foam. I just had them set that way until they dried. And then now I'm just going to take them all back off the picks and I'm going to attempt to reassemble them back the way that they were before. And fortunately there are some spots on the pumpkins where they had some peeling where the glue was before so you can kind of tell where they were before. Okay, so I'm just going to put some extra pieces of styrofoam that came in other packaging. Just put that down in there and raise that up so the pumpkin doesn't sink down inside. I want it to be kind of level where I'm going to be putting it. So I'm just testing it there to see if it's the right height. And so the pick now will go back through in order. The smallest one will go on top, then the next, then the next, and then the biggest. And there are holes in the top and bottom of each pumpkin that are not directly through the center. So you just go right back through that same, that same direction and they'll line up just about where they were before. All right, and now I'm just trying to make sure they're seated where they should be. So now you see that they're all uniform color. And it looks much better. Now I'm going to use this popsicle stick that I used for the paint. And I'm going to stick it through the foam, both layers. 
put a little glue on the pumpkin and then put him down on there. Okay, so now we have our base. It's time to start making it look pretty. So I'm going to take this moss and put it all around on there so that we are covering up the foam. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim up, you know, just any excess that's hanging off of there. Okay, you can see there are little gaps in there because it looks kind of topsy-turvy, which is the, the look that I wanted. You can put them straight down on each other if you like. But I want them to look like they're kind of stacked up haphazardly, I guess. I like the look. And I'm just going to take my Goodwill picks and start placing my leaves down. Now, for me, I like to put the darker color down than a color that's obviously different so that it stands out and then the lightest color on the top. You can do it any way you want. You can use all leaves of the same color. You could, maybe some lamb's ear would be pretty or eucalyptus. You could use boxwood if you wanted to. You could do little sunflower picks or mums. You could do little acorns. You could do whatever you like but I have a stash of things that I've been needing to use and I think that these they look nice together so we're going to use that so that I can use it in my house and then I'm just showing you here how to tuck them under and you definitely want to aim for those spots where there are gaps they fit nicely in there Got to keep it balanced, rotate it, turn it, look at the front, back, the sides, the top, the bottom, and make sure that you have an even amount, or fairly even anyway. Balance. We're going for balance. And here is the final pick. Colors are more muted, and I think it matches exactly what I need in my house. Customize this, do it any way that you would like, but go find something at Goodwill. You know, if you feel comfortable getting out, put your mask on, use your hand gel, go thrifting. Find something and give it new life. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.